What's going on guys, it's your boy 3D Print Dude here. Today I'm gonna be reacting to the Bamboo Lab anti-vibration feet and some misconceptions. So I've recently been researching if I need these anti-vibration feet for my Bamboo Lab 3D printer, right? And I've been doing some research here and uh, by the way, shout out, I'm reacting to this channel, 3D Print Downs video here. This was like a, a good little resource here because he talks or he does a video kind of talking about how to install the anti-vibration feet on his Bamboo Lab P1S, P1P printer. And he literally just goes through the entire thing here. And that's what they look like. Although I've been told that the designs have recently changed and that they don't look like this anymore. So the real question really is, does the 3D printer shake less or does it vibrate less? Because during the video, he talks about installing the anti-vibration feet, right? But at the end of the video, he says that he's worried about how wobbly the printer is on the new feet. And that after the video, he's literally going to take the feet off. So it's just like, so then I went ahead and did a Google search, right? And I added the word forum in here because usually that kind of leads me on the, down the right path here. And I didn't, I checked out the Reddit the subreddit here, the Bamboo Lab subreddit, and some people were asking, do I need the anti-vibration feet upgrade? And I read through this entire subreddit and there really wasn't much info, to be honest with you. So I headed back to the Bamboo Labs forum. As much as I don't like getting info from like the source itself, and a lot of people are stating that they don't do a whole lot and that you're gonna find a much better, you know, using concrete slabs to put the printer on or screwing the table to a wall to a stud. This guy says, I bought the anti-vibration feet and they were pretty much useless for my X1C. Feet will eventually pop out from the printer. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Then he continues to talk about his custom made feet that he put in his printer which I actually 3D printed, which is pretty cool, I gotta say. Then this guy says, this is the best foot setup I've tried. This guy says, I bought the anti-vibration feet for my X1C and can confirm what most already know, the feet don't like to stay in the machine. As for shaking, the printer shakes more now than with the normal feet, but the table it is on shakes far less. <laughs> this is so confusing. I think the idea of concrete pavers on a thick rubber mat is probably the best solution. Well guys, I haven't found a solution to this on the Bamboo Labs anti-vibration feet, so hit me up in the comments. Uh, I'm just kind of looking for some, you know, a lot of people might be wondering this as well, as well so I just figured I'd do a reaction video on it. So uh, hit me up in the comments for those that have done more research and maybe found a conclusion to this. Alright guys, peace.